Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I have a very exciting video to talk about today because this has actually come up so many times in conversation with my clients or my students over the last couple of weeks and I'm thrilled to share the answer with you. I'm actually surprised that I have not answered it on YouTube yet. So basically what we are talking about today is the question, will a blog post do better if it contains a video? And I love that question. Honestly, I think it's so good because we hear all about the importance of video, but people want to also know, like, does that actually influence the traffic that the blog post will get? So like, it takes a lot of work to prep video and people want to know, is it going to be worth it? Will you get more traffic as a result? And lucky for you, I am going to answer that for you. But before I do, before I do, I wanted to show you that here on my website, I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist. And this is a one page download. It has been downloaded by thousands and thousands of people. So trust you are an excellent company with this. But if you're in any way, shape or form interested in growing your website, learning more about Squarespace SEO, making sure that you're doing the most to get more traffic to your website, and meet more of your ideal audience online, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is going to be a huge help. And again, I'll link to it down below. It's so worth it. And trust me that you're going to like it. So now let's take a look at um, what I'm talking about when I say, does a blog post contain a video and will it do better? So the short answer to that question, that question is yes, a video will help a blog post to perform better. Okay, so that's great news if you decide that you want to do a video and add one into your blog post. But the thing is that you want to keep in mind that you can't just add a video and leave it. So I wanted to show you an example on my own website here. So let me just make the video a little bit bigger so that you can see me here. Oh good, there I am. Okay, so again, if you go to my website here and you go to my blog, then you can see that pretty much all of the blog posts that I have are a combination of, you know, like normal text and stuff. And then I also have a video in it. And so in this video, you know, I just picked this one as like a random example, but it's like the video usually, is a tutorial, is an explanation, is a step-by-step, -step, a how-to, whatever it happens to be. But if you keep going down, you can see what I've done here is I also summarize everything in the blog post content itself, right? Do you see what I mean? So I'm not just being like, oh, it's a blog post where I've embedded a video. Mm -mm. Instead, I'm doing that, having a video and embedding it, but then also basically explaining or elaborating on everything that we talk about in that video, breaking up all of the how to's, the step by steps, what you do inside the blog post content. And this is really helpful for a bunch of different reasons. A, because remember, again, Google loves to see that you have like video content is amazing. It's really helpful. It helps to provide like the value of it and everything. But also it can really help to make a blog even more um, drive more traffic, because look at this. If you click over to the blog post, which is being very slow to load for some reason on YouTube here, you can see here that whoop. Oh my goodness, this is so, so slow right now. Sorry about this. Here, there's all of the information contained in the blog post description, right? And so this is going to help it become even more searchable, right? So not only are you getting traffic from like Google or whatever, but people can also find you through like the search engine on the video hosting platform itself, which is in many cases going to be YouTube. So again, remember this blog post you have it, you're embedding a YouTube video. So you're getting traffic to the post itself, but then also independently, this video could be getting traffic to itself, which then leads people back to the blog post. So do you see how you're like getting the cross traffic going on here? So that's one of the most important reasons for it. And again, too, in Google's mind, like I said, they want to make sure that you're there presenting the highest quality, most relevant content to a user search. And oftentimes if they see that you have a video that also is, you know, covering the same topics and whatever, then again, in Google's mind, that means that it could signify that it's even more valuable and therefore more competitive. So 
the short answer to this question is yes. If you're thinking about adding more video content to your blogs and you think that like, oh, this might be really helpful in a way to drive more traffic, get more people to find me online, then I can tell you for a fact, yes, it will be helpful. It of course does take a bit of work, but not only besides that, it will also help really well to increase the like, know, and trust factor, right? Because again, when you are putting yourself, there's a face to the name like me here, like this, you're watching me, you're seeing me you're kind of like getting a feeling for my vibe getting to know that like in fact I know what I talk about and all of that kind of thing and so it is again building that like know and trust factor it helps increase the like brand awareness about you your business your company your offerings whatever and that is an added benefit on top of the SEO stuff that you're getting so not only are you getting more traffic and therefore getting in front of more of your ideal clients and customers and target audience online but while you're at it you're also also building on that and establishing a bit more of a relationship and showing people, hey, maybe there's a reason why they should keep coming back and taking a look at the content you have on your blog. So that's a long answer for a short, quick question. But yes, basically, video content will help a blog post to perform better and use that to your advantage. Honestly, like it doesn't have to be even anything crazy. You can see with my videos that I do here, it's literally like I, you know, hop it up, record in one take and then, you know, upload it to my blog post. And the thing is, it does wonders. It really does pay off. And so if it's something you're thinking about doing or you're like, oh, I've done a little bit, maybe yes, try a little bit more of it. So thank you so much for joining me today in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, you can like the video, leave me a comment down below to let me know this has been helpful or share your own experience with video. Um, and don't forget to, before you leave, to grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist. Again, the link for it is down below in the description. And that is it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take a look at the other videos on my channel if you want to learn more about Squarespace SEO, growing your website, your business, online marketing, all that sorts of things. But otherwise, I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye!